Itoya Stationery Store, which many people identify with, with this big red clip out front, had a huge ink show called Ink, Ink, Ink. For many people, the Ginza Itoya is a mecca for stationery. The Ginza Itoya is their flagship store and it has two buildings with 18 floors of stationery, one of which is this incredible floor of nothing but paper. I typically don't go to this Itoya because it's always so busy and crowded. But look at all this paper. And everything is so artfully and meticulously arranged. Here is their lineup of notebooks, which is on their schedule floor, which is for diaries and organizers. They often have promotions, and this one is for Paper Blanks and David Howell. They have a large selection of the notebooks and bookmarkers and information on how they are made and information on the artist and how the designs came about. Then there's the really fun floor, which is called Desk. It's fountain pens galore. It has almost museum quality fountain pens on for display, most of which you can purchase if you have the funds. Nib models and explanations, and every kind of pen imaginable. To include the ones that I can afford. They even have a put-together pen where you can choose the color of each part of the pen. It's called Mighty. Now that you know how Mighty Itoya is, we'll go on to the Ink 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 special show which allows you to try and to purchase over a thousand different inks. As we were waiting in line, we were handed out these packets. In these packets were a dip pen, a packet of tissues with instructions on the back. These instructions were to tell you the appropriate way to test the inks. You should only dip the tip into the ink, not immerse the whole pen and then swish it around in the water that's provided and then dry off the tip with the tissues provided. There was also an ink booklet where you could record the different kinds of inks and then put a little swab in there. Here's mine, but they're not very good. They were very important to some people and they asked to make sure that they could use their own swab booklets. And then there were two huge fold-out pieces of paper that had all the different kinds of inks that you could sample and purchase. In typical Itoya attention to detail, there was a coat and bag check. Ink, ink, ink was awe-inspiring in its scope and presentation. The area looked small, but they limited the number of people that could come in. There was a line waiting to come in, and as people left, they would let the next person in. This was about as crowded as it got. Which, believe it or not, is not too bad for Itoya. Each row of tables had several glasses of water to rinse your dip pen in, and two rows of jars of ink without their caps on to test. And then on either side of the ink rows was just enough space to lay down your ink journal to fill it out. Here is Sailor's Ink Studio lineup. And you can see underneath behind plastic sheeting are the boxes that you can actually purchase that correspond with the ink that you tested. 
I think the plastic sheeting is to protect it from ink. They had Robert Oster, which was quite popular. Private Reserve had bottles there to include the DC Super Show colors. I thought it was kind of funny that I bought DC Super Show Blue here in Tokyo. And there were bottles of Kobe Monogatari inks and KWZ inks. Ackerman had a large presence with many bottles. I managed to snag a bottle of their Delft Blue. There were a couple of limited editions for the show, and one of them was Sailor's Sailor. It's to celebrate 15 years with Ink Lab for Ink Master Ishimaru-san. Ishimaru-san wants you to enjoy his tuxedo-suited blue ink. Another of the limited edition inks is Pilot Hiroshizuku's line of Tokyo limited edition inks. There are three of them. Shimbashi Ido, which is a light blue, Fukagawa Nezu, which is a gray, and Edo Murasaki, which is a purple. Edo is the old time word for Tokyo, so basically it means Tokyo purple. This is my limited edition pour. Tasia had bottles of their Yukio uh, inks, and here you can see down in the bottom the boxes that you can purchase behind the plastic sheeting. Paniter had some inks along with Kaveco. Jillian from Venta Inks made it out to Tokyo from the Philippines. Here's a color chart of all the inks they brought out. And here's the lineup of Venta Inks. They seem pretty popular because when I was checking out to pay, the people in front of me in line and behind me in line both had Venta Inks. There were water cups everywhere to rinse out your dip pen and the water was changed out frequently. They dumped out the old water and then filled up the cups with fresh water. Aurora had a lineup of their special edition inks. The bottles looked pretty cool. Bechori of Monoline Calligraphy fame and Ken Takeda were there doing, well, research. The ink meister Ken Takeda had several of these red Itoya shopping bags full of his research. The man is a beast. He bought a lot of ink. Kala brought both their Nostalgia Abstraction line and their Gemstone line, which I had not seen before, and then a line called Neon, which was exactly that, Neon. I got the color called Dude. Well, mainly because everybody needs an ink called Dude. It's a neon blue. If you end up getting this color, I'd advise you to use it in an inexpensive pen, because it took a little while to even get it out of my eyedropper. This is a Dude being poured out. It's quite a striking color. Lamy brought their gemstone inks, and Colorverse was there, and so was the news. Tag was there, and introduced two new inks from their Edo Nezu line. Kon Nezu, which is a gray, and Yanagi Nezumi, which is a green gray. Lennon Toolbar was there with their indigo colored inks. And De Atramentis had the largest showing for a non-Japanese company ink. And one of the funner companies around from Taiwan was iPaper with their inks based on nature and the beauty of Taiwan. Overall, it was a fun 
if slightly overwhelming, but very interesting event. As we were checking out, I had noticed that the salespeople would use a special tool to open the boxes. When you buy ink at Etoya, they open the box to ensure that the ink bottle is okay. And the tool allowed you to open the box without bending the corners. I just love Japan. After a hard day of shopping, Mirai Cat, Akira-kun, and I went to the Stilo Cafe, which is on the top floor of the main Itoya building. It's airy, spacious, and has delicious meals for anywhere between $10 to $20. And it has a great view. As an interesting side note, the cafe grows its own lettuce hydroponically on the floor below the cafe. So I made sure I ordered a salad. Ink, ink, ink runs until Tuesday, February 28th. This is a well-run and fun event. If they have one again next year, I'll be sure to attend. <music>